All right, what is up guys? It's Penguin here, back with another video, and today we will be checking out some awesome new updates on Nitro Dive, literally a millisecond after they launch. So let's log in and check these things out. Whoa, what is this? This is the new season achievement thingy. Yes, this is so cool. So, as you can see, whenever you earn a new season achievement, you get this awesome looking screen where you get an achievement ah it's so awesome so i got three new season achievements because travis actually did a massive update today where they are releasing three new things including this car ah everything's happening at once so we can see this awesome cool screen here we got season 27 rank up three rewards unlocked and we can see the 8-bit race or the 9-bit racer card i'll talk about a bit about that later so we'll equip that and we can actually hit view next reward so my next reward was 250k cool and then view next reward nitro pioneer brand new title very awesome i love it so 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 much it looks great um and i think nitro pioneer is a great title so claim and close that monstrosity of stuff is the new season achievement collection screen um so now if you earn a season achievement you can actually get that little screen i guess which is pretty awesome and if we go over to season 27 yeah it doesn't actually exist which is pretty funny. So if I just go down here, all I have is special sauce, right? Yeah. So you can't actually really see that 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 season anymore, which is super interesting because you used to be able to see the season tab in the achievements. Um, and I want to go to loot and see if that does anything because there might be a little special something here. Nope. Okay, never mind. Um. So first, let's talk about the car. So this is the nine bit racer. It is a reskin of the old car, the eight bit racer, which was a super OG Nitro Dive car that not uh, that nobody can get anymore. So we are introducing the nine bit racer, which is just as cool in my opinion. A lot of people have had some mixed feelings about this car. In my opinion, I think it's okay. I liked the personal style of the 8-bit racer a bit more, but this thing still looks very solid. Now, if we paint the car, the paint jobs are absolutely screwed up. <laughs> They're really screwed up, so we'll just keep it in this normalish green for now. Um, but I think this car looks looks pretty cool. I must I must say, it looks like a pretty cool card. Um, it's nice to see some people being able to get the not uh, the the 8-bit racer, but in a, a special form, basically. <sighs> I need to slow down. So yeah, today Nitro Dave is releasing this new sort of season achievement collection system. Um, and it should and it and it looked super super awesome. I love the way that looked. It was like a really like in your face type screen. Like, wow, you just earned an achievement! Whoa! And you could equip the car directly from the screen. You could equip the title directly from the screen, which is pretty cool. And you could you know obviously collect the cash. Um, everything worked great. There were no like major bugs when I tried it out, which was you know 20 seconds after it was released. So I I think everything looks amazing right now, and the screen itself, yeah, it was very solid. It's got like that classic blue and white like arrows thing. Sure, V3 stuff right there. So now let's talk about the nine bit racer. So yeah, the nine bit racer is a reskin of the eight bit racer. Travis, you know they they added it for basically a new special um achievement for this the season 27 but also kind of to just like add some more on top of this new update so that everyone can get something it's for gold members only so if you have gold membership you get it for free and if you don't have gold membership you'll not be able to obtain it more proof that having gold membership gives you cool stuff in this game um i think it's gonna bother a lot of people who can't get gold but oh well you know nitro is famous for giving stuff to people who pay more which makes sense because they're paying more so yeah, that's fun. Um, the major differences from the 8-bit racer are just that it has a lot of dots and it's a bit more pixelated around the wheels. Other than that, it's basically the same exact car. I never owned the 8-bit racer, so it's actually pretty cool to be able to have this, this new 9-bit racer. Although I probably won't use it too much because every single person in this entire world is going to be using the thing. Ah, fun times. And then the title Nitro Pioneer was just another little something to go along with um, the, the new unveiling of the collection system today. And that's the same collection system that I actually talked about in a couple of videos ago. And in that same video, I talked about the Nitro type, the, the Nitro Pass. And when I talked about the Nitro Pass, I was actually a bit mistaken. So I said there were two different types of tiers. Well, that's incorrect. There are three different types of tiers for the Nitro Pass. And if you guys don't know what the Nitro Pass is in like entirety, go check out my video where I talk about it. It should have like Nitro Pass in the title. 
Um, but today I will just be clarifying something that has to do with the Nitro Pass itself. So there will be three different types of tiers for um, the, the Nitro Pass. So the first type of tier is a free tier. That is a tier that everyone can earn just by doing some required amount of racing. So if you're a free member, you can get the regular tier. If you're a, or what, if you're a free member, you can get the free tier. If you're a gold member, you can get the free tier. All you got to do is race. Then there's bonus tiers. So bonus tiers are instantly awar uh, uh, awarded to gold members right as the season starts. So if you have gold membership, you automatically get all these bonus tiers for free. And um, and you don't have to race for them or anything. And that's kind of like what the car is right now. You know, I didn't do any races, but I have gold membership, so I got the car. Kind of makes sense. And then there's regular tiers. So regular tiers are tiers that only gold members can earn, but the gold members have to do work for them. So... They uh, so so free members cannot earn these tiers. Gold members can earn these tiers, but the gold members have to do work for them. I'll put like a chart kind of explaining. So basically, I'll, I'll just run over it again. There's free tiers. Anyone can earn them by doing racing, or by doing races. So if I do 500 races and I'm a free player, I can get the free tiers. Pretty cool. Then there's bonus tiers. Bonus tiers, the gold members get automatically for free, no work involved. So if I do zero races in the season, but I have gold membership, I can get the bonus tiers. And then there's regular tiers. So regular tiers can only be earned by gold members, but you have to race. So if I'm a gold member and I don't race, I don't get the regular tiers. But if I'm a gold member and I do race, I do get the regular tiers. Hopefully that makes some sense, kind of just like clarifying the three different tiers that will be implemented into um, the whole Nitro Pass, Battle Pass thing that will be coming out at some point in the future. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of really cool stuff happening in Nitro, and they're finally um, pushing, you know, the, the Nitro Pass. This whole new season achievement claiming thing is just the first step, right? This is going to happen. And they're eventually going to add more stuff to that. And then eventually the Nitro Pass itself is going to happen. But I don't actually know when that is, to be honest. Um, but so yeah, for now, if you're a gold member, go log on, get the 9-bit racer, get this cool title, the Nitro Pioneer, get some cash. You know, it's just nice to have. Um, and I might actually do a video later today where I, I go onto my track and we race with a bunch of 9-bit racers. So if you have the 9-bit racer, go to my track. It's called, hold up. Wait, if I, wait, hold, I need to move my face cam. Perfect. So go to nitrotype.com slash race slash penguin typer. Um, you can see it right at the top of, above my face. So it should be right, right up there. Oh, sorry. Race, race slash penguin typer. My bad. So race slash penguin typer. And I might just pop in for a couple, for, for about an hour or so and do some racing with you guys. So if you head over to that race, and you, you might just be able to get to race with me. And see my Shadow Floaty sticker. Woohoo. And if you have gold membership, bring the 9-bit racer. It's going to be a squad. Should be some fun. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the new unlocking screen. What you guys think about the 9-bit racer. Do you like the car? Do you not like the car? You know, I was in the Nitrate Discord and I heard some really, really mixed opinions about this car. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people said like, yay, we get the 9-bit racer or we get the 8-bit racer back. In fact, it's just a new car. And a lot of people also said that the car sucked and they didn't want it. So I think that's about pretty normal for Nitro type cars. But I am definitely happy to have this car. I'm always happy to get a new car. I love cars. Um, but I think it's a fine car. I never gave an official rating. 6 out of 10. Uh, the reason I say 6 out of 10 is because it is a reskin. I don't like reskins. But that's just me. Um, it is also a bit... Mm, not as good as the original 8-bit racer, but that makes sense because the 8-bit racer is, you know, like the OG. Um, so yeah, I think the 8-bit racer itself is a nice car, and then the 9-bit racer is also a decent car, but it, it lacks some of the originality um, that the 8-bit racer had. So, 6 out of 10, not a bad car. Okay, I've given I've given 3s before, I've given 3s and 2s, but I think that it, it had a lot to go for, and it's not super amazing, if that makes sense. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you like these whole new spoilers, all that type of stuff, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed this content. Let me know down in the comment section. Also, 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 what do you think about the eight or the nine bit racer? This brand new car that we can see here. Also, 
Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is, probably tomorrow. Daily Upload Squad. Let's get it. Anyways, goodbye, everyone, and have a wonderful day.